That's his Oso thing. He used to do that for Sopo too. Like you kill Mana and then just camp out Sopo oh, for I, an absurd I, amount of time. That's that's my wet dream, honestly. <laughs> is to just is it's to so time funny. out Sopo and to make the Sopo player kill himself. Yeah. Because that's the only way they're gonna advance the set. <laughs> is, I'm not gonna let the Sopo touch me, so he has to get Nana back if he wants to keep the set going. <laughs> it's so sad. For ice bombers. Yeah. But like kinda deserving. And I mean what way. they do to the game. Yeah. Like I it's the character I don't like. It's not the player. <laughs> I always yeah. explain to the player at the end of the set, it's like, it's not you, it's your character. <laughs> well, it's a pretty optimal way to play against them, like, just being lame. Mm -hmm. It's because they're, oh. they're a character that kind of lacks options that others have. Like, yeah. others take for granted. Yeah. Like a like a good dash dance. Ice Climbers can dash dance. Because so Nano will... can dash Nano dance, though. Sopo is dash dance, though. That's, <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> that's the dream. Okay, so we got Sean versus 22k, and... I've never seen 22k before. 22k's been coming here a lot. He's... Is I think he he's solid when it... Is he Connecticut? I think he's Connecticut. I want to say Connecticut. Because he's, he's been to grids, but I don't see him at mass tournaments. Hmm. Also, um, I, I think his punish game is, like, decent with Sheik. And I think it's just getting her openings that he needs to work on as a player. Because he's, he's touched me as Fox and doubles before, and I've just exploded. <laughs> but uh, it's him getting the openings in singles, it looks like it's a real problem. Yeah, it's, it's really tough. Especially when you're uh, well, just starting a Sheik, because Sheik doesn't have uh, like a like a dare she can come in with. I mean, she, oh, yeah, can, she can, but... Really, yeah, no, she can't really come in very well. She has to... All of her moves that set up knockdowns are kind of like committal like even her forward tilt you could say that's not very committal but it it, it kind of is like yeah, against it's certain so uh, characters way it is. Yeah, yeah like if you well if it loses like you, can, you can, lose really really hard yeah because because falcon can just dash dance or crouch cancel it yeah and the well, only thing that it out really you're at a disadvantage too like no matter what yeah because you're in the second you throw out a move against a fast character like falcon fox uh falco then you're just putting yourself in a disadvantage because they're really fast and they can just quit punish. Not not necessarily Falco is fast, but, but he, he can, can he can just yes. he can do it. He has really good forward movement options and laser forward, to help him. Yeah, yeah. He, I think his uh, his horizontal coverage is like is under is kind of slept on because he he can still cover a lot with there. Yeah. Definitely. Okay, so. Guaranteed up for me is able to end the game. It looked like 22k was starting to adapt a little bit more towards the end. Starting yeah. to get uh, his cool. Look at Sean's face. He looks like the most focused face. Sean goes from the most focused face in the world to just like. Loopy he's, yeah, he's loopy. Like, he's having a good time. Yeah. At least more serious in between games than he is in games. <laughs> Maybe not, but. Uh, maybe like just by looking at him. John just always looks like he's having a good time. I get, I hit, I'm hard pressed to find a time when I see like Sean just mad at the game, mm. which is a hard thing to do to not get mad at melee because. Oh yeah, I know. <laughs> As a Falco player, you should very very. Well, I'm never really mad at melee. I'm just kind of always upset at myself. <laughs> True. It's kind of different. I don't know, sometimes melee lies. People say melee doesn't lie, but <laughs> mm. phantoms exist. <laughs> yeah, phantoms are terrible. Oh, we got the chain grab going. So, Sean likes his neutral, like, very nair heavy. Like, he likes to cover, like, the entirety of the stage with nair. And I think that's, like, a, both a really good thing and a really bad thing, because it catches dash backs, and it can cover a lot of uh, mobility options from the other player, but on the downside, like, it's crouch cancelable, and it loses really bad to shield if you don't space it, like, perfect. Yeah, you have to be really perfect with it, too. Well, that's not really perfect. But it's pretty hard. I, I feel like it's really easy to space Falcon's narrow shield. Yeah, but there's he, like, well, the other the person could mix it up is. well, like, make it a lot harder. Like, if you're just against the different opponent, like, if you're just facing someone, 
you or know, not uh, facing someone with lips super easy, but if you face someone like Megatron. Like, oh. Not, not expecting you to know this necessarily, but do you know what the frame advantage is on fucking snare? Like when he does it the lowest possible on shield? I have no clue. Because I feel like sometimes he, he goes for it. I always wanted to know that. Yeah, because I feel like I get jabbed sometimes when I try to shield grab it when he does it really low. Yeah. And it's definitely not positive. It's definitely... Yeah, yeah. I know... it's, it's, not, it's not positive, but it's like probably like minus like five yeah, or something. Like, yeah. I'd, I'd imagine five, like minus, minus four or five, because yeah. then jab would beat grab. But I, I've never tested it. Okay, I have to go to the bathroom. Okay. This is super even though. You know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what a bad time for a commentator battle break. But, uh, Sean's actually bringing this back. It was looking more 22k's favor in the start, but Sean's been around for a while, so he's able to more or less adapt to a lot of stuff that comes his way. Oh, let's go, Falcon Kick. That's unpunishable on you. I'm pretty sure it's unpunishable if you, like, hit with the base of it and then you just fly all the way across the stage. Because you have to, like, nail your dash back. So probably not safe per se, but it's a reasonable bet that no one's gonna hit, gonna punish you for it. Unless they're like really good or really warmed up. Oh. There we go. That's easy. Wow, nice back air. Oh my goodness. Okay, so he DI's away, but not enough to. I think he tried to DI so that he could cancel the hit stun on the platform. Uh, like edge cancel it. But then ultimately he ended up DIing a little too far. And at that percent, if you do that slight DI, then uh, Falcon's up there will true combo into me. Let's go, Mark.